UK journalist Dan Wooten is now apologizing to Johnny Depp after he tried to smear him on multiple occasions, resulting in one epic lawsuit that the famous actor lost. Dan won. Oh, but all of a sudden, he realizes the error of his ways. Hi everyone, my name is Jacob Airy. Welcome to the Studio Jake Vidcast, where I talk about all things pop culture. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. All right, so who is Dan Wooten? If you know who he is, it shows that you are aware of some of these bad actors in the mainstream media, especially in the European media. If you're not aware, it shows you're a regular person. <laughs> so who is Dan Wooten? He used to work for a sort of uh, UK tabloid rag, I think called News Group, or that was the parent company. So what happened was, is Danny Boy, who is a uh, journalist, he's been covering the royal family for a long time. He he runs um, all kinds of noxious and toxic stories. And what happened was, is J.K. Rowling, the author of the Harry Potter series, you know, she's everyone's favorite cancel culture target including by Dan, by the way, um, he ran an article about her because she sided with Johnny Depp in the whole entanglement between Depp and his ex-wife who plays Mira on Aquaman. And basically what happened was Dan being the journalist that he is with her, he said, you know what? Um, Rowling, you're part of the Me Too movement, the Believe All Women movement, and it's hypocritical for you to side with Depp over um, the actress who played Mira. So in the article, he um, is very disparaging toward Depp, um, of course, praising uh, Amber Heard. Well, Depp sues them. And which is interesting because Depp really should have won that case because if there's anything the British love, it's lo it's um, it's a good smear campaign. And there, they don't have a good justice system like we do, where the accused has to um, has to prove the crime. Over there, if you accuse someone of smearing, that person has to prove their innocence. So the the ball was in Dan's court, not Depp's. Well, they brought in. Uh, the actress who played Mira, Mira to uh, defend Dan, and she did, I guess, brilliantly. And as a result, uh, Depp w lost the case. Well, um, Dan then proceeds to write more articles about Depp where he says, oh, he's not a victim of cancel culture. He's been after me. He's been after AH. And the whole reason Depp suiting was because his newspaper ran a headline where he referred to Depp as a, you know, domestic abuser, basically. And of course, that was all disproven in the American court case. Well, now, Dan, he wants amnesty. He wants to apologize to Depp after trying to smear him. And he goes on the Megyn Kelly show, which, by the way, this is nothing... Uh, against Megyn Kelly, but I do not think she should have allowed him to go on and grandstand. Because it wasn't just this one article. Dan Wooten did a ton of stuff attacking Depp. He said, like I just mentioned, he said, oh, he's not a victim of cancel culture. He most certainly was. Depp was blacklisted by Hollywood. He was fired from two media studios, or excuse me, film studios. It wasn't like James Gunn where, where Disney fired him and then he immediately got work with other studios and he was like, oh, I'm a victim of cancel culture. That's not what cancel culture is. The film studio system tried to ruin Depp as a result of the chaos with his ex-wife. Wooten, on the other hand, is all the way cheering, mm, 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 you know, with club music, just like a UK smear merchant would. So he goes on Megyn Kelly's show. He says, oh, oh, I had an ex who tried to ruin me. And she said, whatever. And, oh, I understand Depp's perspective. Oh, I shouldn't have gotten involved in their toxic relationship. <laughs> Please love me and also subscribe to my new, to my new outlet. <laughs> Give me a freaking break. I think it's so funny when these journalists, they use their their position as the fourth estate or the fifth estate, depending on who you ask, to smear someone. 
And then all of a sudden they have a moment of clarity and they're like, I just didn't understand. I just didn't know. They did the same thing to uh, Richard Duell, uh, excuse me, Richard Jewell, to Nicholas Sandman, to Kyle Rittenhouse, and they did it to Johnny Depp. And by the way, I do not think Johnny Depp is pure as the driven snow. Absolutely not. I think that he is a very flawed man, but the things he was accused of by his ex-wife just didn't happen. In fact, all audio recordings indicate it was the exact opposite that she was actually the perpetuator of that. And like I said, Depp, he's a nut. He's definitely had troubles with substance abuse and his political opinions are incredibly insane. So please don't make this think that I'm saying, oh, Depp should, is above criticism. He's obviously not. But in this particular case, um, the media, including Danny Boy over there, um, smeared him. They tried to destroy him. They tried to ruin that man. And what's interesting is he goes on Megyn Kelly's uh, show to whine and cry about this. And and I'm just stunned that Megyn Kelly just sat there and let him do that, knowing full well that that moron went on and on and on. It wasn't just one article with a cringy headline. Uh, read the article for yourself. Read the stuff he wrote afterwards. Now, listen, Wooten should not have been fired from GB News for the incident that he was fired for, where one of his uh, actors, um, he was interviewing an actor named Lawrence Fox. Lawrence Fox went off on this crazy um, commentator um, who mocked uh, men's health, and Lawrence Fox was banned from GB News, and then Dan Wooten was fired. Absolutely stupid that GP News did that. They were spo they're supposed to be the alternative to BBC, not emulate BBC, but I digress on that. So that to say, no, Dan, no, you should not just go on Megyn Kelly's show and apologize. You have an, your own media outlet now. You should be writing on there and saying you were wrong. And here's the whole thing. He is scared because there's some theories out there that because Depp won the case in the United States, that it opens up a possibility of appeal in the UK. So Wooten is scared now. He's terrified. This has nothing to do with, oh, I had a realization because my ex tried to ruin me and that's why I'm doing this. Oh, I now that I have a full picture because of the case, blah, 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 blah. You were a journalist and it was your job to research the full facts, TMZ, ABC, even Fox, CNN, NBC, and especially in the UK, not so much mainland UK, they seem to be more sympathetic to Johnny Depp, but the UK media and the Canadian media, they all went after him and tried to destroy him. And Dan was a ringleader of that. So forgive me if I don't think his apology is so sincere. We need to hold these media people accountable for when they try to destroy lives. It's not about reporting the news. It's not about freedom of the press. When you smear someone, when you libel them, when you defame them, and you know uh, it's for the courts to decide in Dan's case, and in one case they have, but they should be held accountable for that. They should not get off scot-free when they do things like this. When you have, you know the uh don lemon going off which now that's probably a bad example because he was eventually fired not for what he said when he accused all white people of being bigoted when you know he uh, what really got him fired was what he said about women right they're in their prime in the 30s their 20s and 30s and that's not me saying it blah 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 or the atlantic newspaper that tried to destroy richard jewell and all the subsequent things that followed when um uh, Chris Cuomo went on and attacked Nicholas Sandman, which, of course, that might have worked out because they ended up sell, um, settling it. These media people have this power over us through their network. And yes, the corporate press is failing, but they do have power over us to smear us, to ruin our reputations. And Dan was right along with there with his smear merchants in the UK. And now he wants to go on and beg and say, oh, 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 I was just misled. You weren't misled. You didn't do your job as a journalist. And shame on you. You should have known better. You're a professional. As J the great Joey Swall says, do better. Mind your business. And I would like to say that to all of the media outlets. Do better.
mind your business. Cause I've been living life right like I could just die.